Hi, I'm Kusain Appleby, or Zane, and I'm with Fruity. And I have with me today... Rory, the whole food dude. Hey, guys. Rory Bland, who's not very bland, and I are going to check out these two juices today. <laughs> two Optimum juices. This mm. is the Optimum 400 juicer, which you will have seen Rory and I both mm. use in videos in the past. This is a slow juicer, the slowest on the market. Absolutely amazing. And we're going to compare it with another Optimum product today. This is... The Optimum 6. We have taken it up a notch. This mm. is a revolutionary kitchen appliance. Mm. I'm absolutely in love with it. But before we tell you about that, we've got to tell you about the old way of juicing. So what we would have done in the past is used a centrifugal juicer. And a centrifugal juicer is where you pop the whole ingredient down the tube and the spinning blades make a very loud noise and shred all the ingredients. Pulp goes one way, juice goes another. Those heat, those blades create heat, that heat destroys enzymes. We notice lots of separation in juice and we get a lot of a lot less yield. It also has difficulty juicing your greens so you don't get much of the greens on the way through with the centrifugal juicer. Now Rory's going to tell you what a slow juicer like the Optimum 400 would be different. Absolutely. So the Optimum 400 juicer is completely different. Instead of grating and shredding the nutrients, it presses them, which means you have more enzymes, you have more nutrients, your juice is able to stay longer in the fridge when you store it, and uh, it has less grit. And, uh, and junk in there as well, which is awesome. It's kind it's, of like a masticating. Yeah, like um, massaging. And, and what you do is you get all those nutrients, which mm. I love, because juice is mm. great, smoothies are great, that's why we love using our blenders. But mm. juice is great, the nutrients from the juice get with, into your blood within 15 minutes, mm. and when you're doing this with the slow juicer, you get more yield mm. than with the centrifugal juicer. So true, and especially with your greens, if you try putting kale through a centrifugal juicer, <laughs> yeah. you'll get nothing. Yeah. When you put it through something like this, you get exactly what you, what you need from the kale. The so if we've already got an amazing slow juicer, mm. why have we got another slow juicer? Because well, so we, can, um, so we can actually put those large ingredients in without having to chop them. I think I like it. <laughs> if you were preparing for the slow juicer, it doesn't actually take very long to prepare for the Optimum 400. You simply want to chop your ingredients into wedges or sticks like I'm doing here. It doesn't take very long at all. I do it on a regular basis with my Optimum 400 juicer. Well, I did do it until I got an Optimum 600. I probably find that I spend one or two minutes chopping the ingredients all the way until they're in the right size and collecting them on a plate before I pop them through my 400. So you'll see it actually doesn't take very long at all. But some people find that even that much is more than what they're willing to put in for their mm. juice. And so the difference between the 400 and the 600 is that we've got that whole slow juicer with a big wide mouth. Mm. What we can do is take a whole ingredient like this one and pop it straight in the top. You do use the tamper to posh the ingredients down, similar to what you would have done in a centrifugal juicer. In the old, or the 400 juicer, then you want to make sure that you don't do any pushing. It'll feed itself mm. through as well. So let's have a little look. Shall Should we juice some stuff? Yeah, let's totally. Let's turn them on and see what we get. All right. Exciting. I'm excited. I love it. No cutting required. <laughs> no cutting at all. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> I can really just cram things in there, can't I? It's great. I'm going to release that look in there. Chuck in uh, a lemon, apple. You're having fun there, Roy. I am. This is so much fun. <laughs> Roy has always complained about slow juices. Although he loves the health benefits of a slow juicer, he has never been a fan of having to chop things up. And uh, this one you'll really enjoy. Watch this. Whole things of celery. Is this your first time using the 600 it juicer? It is. It is. This is my first time using it. I'm so excited. See, I, look think, at that. Uh, I think Rory's going to get a new toy in his <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> look, you don't have to cut that whole stalk of celery. Where did it go, man? It is in the juice. <laughs> oh, yeah. So exciting. How's it going? 
Well, you get the benefit of speed that you would have had with the old centrifugal juicer, but also... You're currently almost overflowing. Oh! Beauty. I was so distracted by the Optimum 600. Look, they're both great mm, juices. Absolutely. They're both available uh, now. You can definitely use um, this one, and I still have one of these. I love it, but I certainly mm. adore the fact that I can pop the ingredients in, like you've seen Rory do, and get a great result at the end there. And I'll just quickly finish this mm. one up here. And we'll pop all the leaves in. And look, this is the benefit of a slow juicer. All the leaves can go in, everything can go in. Um, and you do get all that. And just only ever, if you need to, gently use the tamper in mm. the 400. It's not for pushing or shoving like a centrifugal. And you may need to use a little bit of a push, um, popping a whole apple or beetroot into the 600. Mm. But certainly you don't need to shove mm. like you were, would have had to do with a centrifugal, though you are able to use that little bit more um, pressure mm. in there. I've popped all of the same ingredients through that Rory has. I've been letting them partially mix in the bowl of the 400. So again, you can do that in both juices. And they're both, as I said, great juices. Mm. 600, whole mouth. So you've got that wide whole mouth, you can pop the whole fruits or vegetables in and juice them. And then you've got the 400 with the smaller feed shoot, which does require that moment or two extra preparation. Shall we pour them out and see what we've got, Rory? I think so. So you can make sure that there's no dripping on your bench by making sure that the little button is closed there on both of the juices and pour them into a glass and see what sort of delicious red juice we've created mm. today. And I've got just a little bit extra there, as says Rory. So we've done a great job of creating those two recipes. And they're going to taste absolutely Yum. delicious. But look, you'll see right away, no mm. separation. So great results, exactly like a slow juicer should have. And they're going to taste beautiful. Anything else you want to add, Rory? No, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm excited. I'm I think really he's going to get one. Uh, <laughs> I love them. You know the benefits. If you want to know more yeah. benefits of a slow juicer, then there's some great videos on the Fruity TV mm. YouTube channel um, explaining them. But I really today wanted to point out the significant difference between these two. Great mm. slow juicers, but look at the little bit of extra time that Rory saved and a little bit of extra effort. So that's it for me today. Mm. Tuesday health, guys.